So imagine launching your brand new game and selling enough copies to break records, bringing in over 500 million dollars. That's exactly what Activision along with Sledgehammer Games has went ahead and done here this November. Now imagine things going this well and then everything taking a twist. A very, very interesting twist that is. One you may not be expecting at all. Activision has now been hit with a lawsuit which is absolutely crazy and like I said guys it may not be what you think at all. Before we get into the video please smash that thumbs up if you do enjoy at any moment throughout the video and subscribe if you are new. Become a member of that goon squad. Now without further ado guys let's get into the video. So guys, this lawsuit may not be really what, what you're actually thinking that it is. The makers of Humvee Military Vehicle have filed a lawsuit against Activision over the usage of Humvee trademarks in Call of Duty titles without permission. That's right. Do you even remember seeing the Humvees? Do you remember the Humvees? Some of you may not remember, I mean, at all, but it goes all the way back to the MW2 days, Modern Warfare 2. So how could you really forget? I mean, MW2, a legendary game. Modern Warfare 2 is the game that has these Humvees, and I honestly am not even sure if we've seen them in a game since. Modern Warfare 2 came out way back on November 10th, of 2009 just a couple days away from being eight years old that's insane that is insane it's been eight years and this is just becoming a thing now let's jump in and read the full article i got to do some proofreading here so charlie and tell if you guys if you guys need an editor let me know the makers of the Humvee military vehicle have filed a lawsuit against Activision in New York over the usage of Humvee trademarks in Call of Duty titles without permission. The complaint was filed Tuesday night in U.S. District Court in Manhattan by AM General LLC, the makers of the Humvee vehicle. The lawsuit alleges that Activision has taken advantage of AM General LLC's goodwill and reputation in the Humvee and HMMWV marks by featuring them prominently in Call of Duty and licensing related content for use in toys and books. AM General says that some success in Call of Duty has come only at the expense of AM General and consumers who are deceived into believing that AM General licenses the games or is somehow connected with or involved in the creation of the games. AM General is currently owned by McAndrews and Forbes Incorporated and Renko Group Incorporated. The company says that after a year of communication with Activision over this matter, they failed to end this dispute. So they filed a lawsuit asking for compensatory, punitive, and triple damages from Activision. An Activision spokeswoman told Reuters, a news agency, that they do not discuss pending litigation. So that is the situation guys, it's pretty crazy if you ask me. First of all, I think it's an odd situation to begin with, well, because the game's been out for 8 years. The situation almost seems irrelevant at this point. Now if you ask me, I don't even remember the Humvees and I needed to honestly use Google to figure this all out. The fact that they went on to argue that the use of the Humvee has something to do with Call of Duty's success actually kind of shocked me. How many people would actually go through this thought process? Oh, that game has a Humvee. I mean, you can't even really use the Humvee, may I add that? So I want to go purchase it. I think most of us really look at the bigger things in the game and not a vehicle we see, I mean, maybe once throughout the campaign and, and the whole game. In all honesty, if Call of Duty has done anything for the Humvee name, it may have even made it more popular. Use me for an example. I would not even really know that a Humvee or any vehicle of that nature actually exists without my background in Call of Duty. That stuff they don't teach in class. So to sum it up, I think that so to sum it up, I think that this is going to be an interesting one for Activision, and I'm definitely going to keep my eye on it. In my opinion, I think the situation is a little past its time, and it's honestly pretty petty of AM General to do what they are doing. Let me know your thoughts down below. Will Activision pull through and come out on top, or will they be taking a huge L here after the launch of World War II? That's it for today. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you never miss a post. 
and peace. peace.